Students, good morning. Let us see the problem on the IC engine cylinder. A four-stroke internal combustion engine. As you know, four-stroke means n is equal to n by 2. If it is two-stroke, small n is equal to capital N. But here, four-stroke means small n is equal to capital N by 2. Okay. They are given the brake power 7.5 kilowatts. So, brake power is equal to 7.5 kilowatts in terms of watts, 7500 watts. And speed 1000 rpm. Speed n is equal to 1000 rpm. Indicated mean effective pressure IMEP, mean effective pressure 0.35 Newton per mm square. Maximum gas pressure P maximum 3.5 Newton per mm square. You can, you can give the name as P. Mechanical efficiency 80, 80 percentage. As you know, mechanical efficiency, the ratio of brake power by indicator power, that is 0 0.8. Here, K is, equal number of one, K is equal to number of cylinders, that is 1. If they are not mentioned, you can take K is equal to 1. Okay. So here, determine first dimensions of the cylinder. If the length of the stroke is 1.4 times the bore of the cylinder. Okay. Here yeah, dimensions means you have to find the bore that is diameter and stroke that is length. You have to find out D and LC. Right, but here yeah, they are given the length of the stroke is 1.4 times the bore of the cylinder. Length of stroke means LS. Stroke LS. 1.4 times the bore means D. This is in terms of mm. Okay, you have to convert into meters. So 1.4 D by 1000 meters. Okay. Next. Second question. So, wall thickness of the cylinder with the hoop stress is 35 mega pascal. Here they are asking the wall stress that is TW. They are given the sigma H that is the hoop stress 35 mega pascal. You can replace with the sigma C also. Okay. Next, thickness of the cylinder head and size of the studs. Okay. Here they are asking the thickness of the cylinder head and size of the studs that is D. You have to find. And they are given the permissible stresses for the cylinder head and the stud 45 mega pascal and 65 mega pascal respectively. One is for cylinder head, for studs, cylinder head, huh? that is 65 mega pascal. And for cylinder head, 45. For cylinder head, 45. And for studs, second one, for stud, 65 mega pascal. They are given directly. Okay. Right. Say it a bit. Huh? First of all, you have to find out the diameter length okay so for that to find out this we need the indicator for formula as you know indicator power is equal to p l a n k by 60 that is simple plank by 60 here a is the 5 d scale by 4 and l is the stroke length so we have plank by 60, where P is the mean effective press, L is the LS, and A is the 5 d square by 4, and N is equal to N by 2. Here they are given the N value 1000 RPM, so N by 2 means 500. So we have taken the N value 500, and K, number of cylinders, that is 1 by 60. This is the formula. In this formula, we have 5 d square by here D is the diameter, and L is the length. So here yeah, you need to find out the D and L. That's why we are using this formula. Okay, that's why we are using the indicator for formula. Then only we will get D and L values. Okay. Let us take IP value. But here you don't know IP value here. So you have to find the IP value. So you have IP, for, uh, IP value. You have a formula. From mechanical efficiency you can find out IP is equal to BP by Sigma M. Eta M. This one. Then you will get the IP value. 9375 watts. This is the indicator power. The same value are substitute here. And PM value is given 0 0.35. And LS, that is 1.4 D. They are given 1.4 D by 1000. 1.4 D by 1000. And 5 D scale by 4. 5 D scale by 4. 500 by 60. Okay, this value. So, you have to do the calculations carefully. Then you will get the here D and here D square. D into D square D cube. So in terms of D cube, we will get the answer. Then you will get D cube is equal to. Then finally you will get D root of answer. So that is 142.98 mm. This is the D value. So this is 142, the round value 143 mm. Okay. 
but here we have to find out the ls value that is 1.4 d so 1.4 into d you will get the ls value 200 mm okay but in the question they are asking length of the cylinder c per cylinder lc that is 1.15 into ls so 1.15 of this value so 1.15 into 200 you will get the lc value 230 mm okay so d and lc is over that is the first point right so this formula you already learned in the applied thermodynamics in the last semester okay so in ic engine's performance okay so the same formula you are used here okay so you have to remember this formula again this formula is not available in the data book you have to remember this formula these two basic formulas okay now second we have to find out the wall thickness of the cylinder that is tw we have a formula pd by 2 sigma h plus c we have formula in the data book see but we have to change little change we have to modify this one there is a t the empirical rule to determine that 404 phase cylinders and pistons okay thickness of okay thickness there is a t is equal to pd by 2 sigma t here we have a sigma h that is a hoop stress and here 7.6 this is not mandatory here you have to replace it with some c the c is depends based on the diameter okay both there so up to d 150 mm you have to take c that is the allowance for the boring reboring allowance for the boring so c is equal to 4 mm for the reboring up to 150 mm you have to take 4 suppose if d is equal to 100 you can take 4 like that so if you if it is more than 100 you can take c value 4 mm so in place of c you have to take 4 then here p they are given the p value p maximum 3.5 and d value we are find the d value 143 mm to and sigma h they are given in the question sigma h hoop stress this concept you learned in the mos okay thick cells thin cells generally the basic formula is t is equal to sigma h is equal to pd by 2t sigma h is equal to pd by 2t so from that formula this is derived that is that's why finally t w is pd by 2 sigma h plus c if you forget you can use the data book but here in place you have to write sigma h here you have to take c that is mod uh, that will vary based on the d cylinder bore mm. okay so finally you get the wall thickness after then third one you have to find the thickness of the cylinder head okay this is also available in the Mahadevan data book okay 18.7 equation 18.7 right third one thickness of the cylinder head we have a formula 0 0.31 root p by sigma d the same formula thickness of the flat cylinder head okay 407 phase this is the cylinder head formula direct formula okay the same formula we have taken here that is 0 0.31 by root of p by sigma d okay you have 0 0.31 d value 143 p 3.5 sigma d the sigma d is given that is sigma d for cylinder head 45 mega pascal in the question they are given okay after substituting you will get the value 12.36 you have to take the round figure 13 mm okay yes. Thickness here, they ask the thickness of the cylinder head and the size of the studs. Sometimes they may ask, find out the number of studs also they may ask. But even though you have to find whether they ask or not, but you have to find the number of studs. It will be useful. See here, the formula is available in the data book 18.8 .8, number of studs in Mahadevan 0 0.015d plus 4. Okay, the same formula I have taken here, number of studs d is the 143 okay this is the number of studs okay now you have to find out the root dia of the stud root dia this is also available in 18.4 equation 18.4 that is the root diameter of the stud dr d root of p i sigma t the same formula i have taken here c here sigma t capital d 143 p 3.5 maximum pressure I number of studs sigma t 65 given in the question 65 mega pascal okay after substituting you will get the dr value 13.54 mm okay oh, very good oh, okay so this, we will get the this is the root diameter but we want the nominal dia 
so per normal day formula d is equal to dr by 0.84 this is the basic formula by 0.84 so 13.54 by 0.84 you will get the normal day that is 16 mm so normal day of the study d is equal to dr by 0.84 this is the basic formula okay we have a dr value so, then you will get the 16.1 round figure 16 mm okay so finally we have to find the pitch of the studs whether they ask or not you have to find the pitch of the studs okay right so for that we have formula dp is equal to d plus 3d this that is not available in data book you have to remember right so dp is equal to d plus 3d the d is the 143 3 and d small d 16 mm this is the pitch uh, circle diameter stud and pitch of the studs that is 5d by i okay where 5dp by i 5dp is this is the pitch circle dp i is the number of studs 6 this is the pitch of the studs now we have to check the minimum pitch and maximum pitch one is 19 root d other one is 28.5 root d so 19 root d d is the this value small d then one is 76 other one is 114 mm now finally you have the comment since the pitch of the studs obtain above 100 mm this is above 100 mm lies within 76 and 114 mm okay this is you have got the pitch of study is 100 always you should be within the limits that means it should not it should be in between these two values so 100 means in between these two values so the design is shape that means size of the studs calculated above is shape is satisfactory this shape value because the calculated pitch is within the minimum and maximum pitch range so you can say that the stud diameter is in shape pitch of the 